Hello everybody, so we've come back inside Um, I have washed off the garlic leaves or the white garlic leaves so that I had them here in my strainer. So um, I was talking about the smell actually and I didn't um, mention that it's actually an oniony smell. So if you smell the bottom of them, so when you stand near um, a host of wild garlic, as uh, William Wordsworth would have talked about daffodils, yeah, well daffodils, not dandelion, um, you'll they'll, they'll, there's a um, an oniony scent off them. So these are of the Allium family, Allium A L L I U M, and um, the other plants would be chives would be part of that, and onions. Um, so uh, yeah, they all got that oniony smell. Okay, so as I said, I've washed these leaves. So what I'm going to use is I have one of these um, we uh, mincery type things. I've a couple of different blady type jobs, and actually I pulled up a a bulb. So say maybe perhaps if you do know where they grow wildly, maybe you could put a little patch of them. If you manage to pull up a bulb accidentally, uh, you can put a patch or try to grow some in a little area in your own garden somewhere that's not um completely south facing it's got a bit of shade so out where um mine are they wouldn't get morning sun they'd be a little bit protected from the full sun of the day a little bit but um they get afternoon sun so just so long as they're not totally exposed um for the whole length of the day you should be able to uh grow some of your own actually yeah that's even oniony smelling lovely and there's the um there's the flowers in a jar um they don't smell quite so strongly at the top. No, no, they have a different kind of slightly different smell. It's the bottom of them that smells oniony. Okay, I think they're gorgeous. As I said, um, so the restaurant I used to work in out in Aaron, we used to have two or three of these in um, a little white ceramic vase on each table. And I thought they were so pretty. So that's where I became introduced to um, wild garlic. And just to say, actually, whenever you're harvesting um anything foraging and i suppose look this goes without this this goes for anything that grows in your garden is just a, away from busy roads now i know roads maybe are not that busy but you won't find these grown on the m50 if you happen to live that um that it, anywhere like that i wouldn't go picking stuff just where it's relatively quiet so i know for example that my neighbor on the other side he doesn't do any spraying or anything like that i know there are people you can say things are 100 percent um organic if you're growing them from scratch but you can't say if you're in an open area what's happening on either side but i know your man over that side doesn't spray anything so i i wouldn't more be worrying about picking these um and if i was uh foraging anything else i would be mindful to forage it away from the edge of the road in my garden um and if it was the side of a road you know like haws or slows or blackberries i'd be choosing a road that's either up a little boreen or choosing a road that's really quite quite quiet okay You're probably not going to get a hundred percent without um a car or two so just to show you this is what i'm going to be using this um is great for mincing small things and there's a little wee blade that goes into it so you put the blade in and what i'm going to do to start is i'm going to just grab a few of these shake the water off them now, it'd be better if they were a little bit more drained but because i'm making this for here so i'm going to use a scissors to chop them down a little bit so I'm not going to video this actually making the noise, okay, because you don't really need to hear that. So you don't overfill it because it's got a, the leaves have got a catch, okay, so I'll show you now. So, but you want them to catch a little bit, so it's about halfway full. Um, and I'm going to use olive oil. So um, I was reading up in my research, it's not for this particularly, but just in general. So if you're going to use olive oil um, for this, which is probably one of the better ones. Don't use extra virgin olive oil. Extra virgin olive oil is um, better for salad dressing. Uh, if you cook it, you change in the molecular nature, whereas olive oil itself is is um, for cooking with, okay? Not deep frying for cooking. So, do I measure? I don't know. So a nice general amount, generous washing down. Because the what the oil does is help to preserve it. So I've probably got about two tablespoons in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zzzt them. And that's the technical term. Uh, this ladding comes with a lid and it goes on. And it's like a hand blender come this job. I found this in um, Tesco's years ago, actually. I really like it. It's very handy. Out. So I'm going to stop the video. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to blitz this, take a picture of me doing it a couple of times so you can see what I mean. Because sometimes it can be tricky to understand from uh, here's one I made earlier picture all right so i'm going to stop this and and then i'm going to come back okay <laughs> 